Right, this is part three. So we've got the wheels in place. Two here and two there. This is in place. This is in place. This is in place. In place. In place. In place. I need to peg that as well. So if you don't have all these bits in place, then go back and make sure they're in place. Let's continue. So we're going to make these creases, this mountain fold, and this valley fold straight down. It's just like a water bomb base. Peg it right here. Maybe what should be doing now? And do the same over here on this side. Uh, this is a sink, so make the mountain folds going straight down this side and that side, so it's right here. So we need, to, we need to make this mountain fold and then this one by folding this part over and behind. So let me see. Make this valley fold right here. and then make this mountain fold it's basically the same move that you did here it's 
the same as this. So basically that's what he did here. And then the same on this side. So just like that. And these parts here are the eyelids. So let me all the off skin with that. See these parts cover the eyes. In fact, I'll peg it here as well, just to hold it in place. Yeah, I'll pick and I'll pick the one actually. Right, now we're going to start to collapse this part. And we'll leave the hood to, to last. So make this mountain fold. And fold it over the way. Or towards you. Then this the valley fold, push this bit in. Fold it right over so the colours, the lines, the colours of the lines match up. So just like that. And then do the same on the other side. Or oh, oh, the half. That's good. Got to make this close sink. This bit here, right here. You can do this and get out of the way, and that means all these colours line up. So how is it? I did it again. Yep, so make these, make it a mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, mountain. <laughs>
Yep, then tuck it under or over, like that. So you should have something like this. You should have something like this. Now we're going to push this point in and make this valley fold right here. Make this. And then, as you see when you make it, the colours line up. And then do a close sink. Close sink this part in. So you need to, first of all, make ju just the first two the valley folds. Then I'm holding it in place. I've got my other finger pushing up and my thumb's pushing down, so I'm, I've, I've locked it in place. And as you can see, all the colours line up. So just sink it in. So just like that. So let's undo it again and I'll show you. So push this point in. Make the first two valley folds. And then close sink inwards. do the exact same on this side. So the exact same here. Push this point in. push this point in, right here, make the first two valley folds, and then close sink in, I'm going to use this beetle to help me. Again, when you do this, take your time and make sure it's spot on. That can get pushed down as well. And then fold it over so the colours line up. Don't don't worry too much about the top, that's the next part. And then the same here, just fold over the valley fold both of the way so everyone lines up
make sure all the line, all the layers are lined up so this mountain fold can take place and flatten this whole part at once. Put this down in place. Then the wheel will, will turn up on this valley fold. Just like that. Right, so do the same that you did here, again, on the other side. Well, this isn't near enough already done. So like that. And this is the headlight, the side light. Right, so that's done. So I've not got any pegs. No big pegs. I'm just pegging there. I will do these parts, which is bringing it all together. I think it's here. Good pick this as well, could I? I will come back to that bit. again where the mountain fold comes down here and here and then the mountain fold here and here and this gets sunk. It's the exact same what we did in the first part, this part here, the exact, the exact same as this. I'm sure it is, we'll find it. So make this mountain fold all the way along. So make the mountain fold, the mountain fold, valley, mountain, mountain. Oh, 
Oh, my must not be crazy. Yep. I'm, I forgot the colour button. So this is a mountain fold right here. I've obviously forgot to colour it in. Well, that's alright. So first of all, make sure this part's connected and the colours are lined up. It's just a valley fold right over. And then this part here. And then I'm going to peg it right here, just now. And then do the same over here. Ah, I've got it coloured on that side. I just must have forgot. So basically, pull this over. So I've got a finger on, got a finger here and a finger here and I'm going to push down and then squeeze like that to lock it in place. Yep, that goes up the way, that's a valley fold. Uh, valley fold, one big valley fold, because all the, all these creases that we've made earlier are all in place, so they're all correct, now they all line up, they're all one colour, so now we can fold it, pull this up, push that down as well. Yeah, you, you, you're going to need to make sure this mountain fold is in place as well. This one, which is right here. Make sure this is mountain and it's folded over the valley fold first before we do this big collapse. So basically, bring it right up. Like this. Then make sure the valley's the valley goes all the way down to the bottom. And then fold it over. And then make this valley fold. if it wants to be made. I'm going to peg it right here, this is a crucial point. So peg it, if you can, right here. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to do a bit here, then the same here. A bit here and then the same here, just so we don't fall behind on our side. So fold it over so the lines match up. Make the mountain fold strong, peg it. Let go of that one. Let go of this one.
no blank other than the girl. Yep, so make make this long valley fold. Just like that. And then the same here. Then pinch this together just to try and hold it in place. In fact, I'm going to peg it here as well. Try and get this light a bit closer. And then the same here. So we're definitely getting someplace. This is a big achievement so far if you've gotten this far. Oh. So got this, that's the last. We can work on the bonnet or the hood. We get rid of these. So we're going to make this part now. And that should tie up with the bit here and here and then the same here. Well, oh, that's just quite confusing. I can't get my head of this. Don't worry too much if this bit's messy, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be hidden it's gonna be hidden anyway at the end. So don't do not worry. Make these mountain folds here and here, which you've already got in place. So this part right here, push it down, make the mountain fold, and then push that down. Oh, I've missed the mountain fold as well, that's why. So you should have something like this just now. And then extend this crease down the way. But we need to we need to make this mountain fold over this valley fold. So make that a mountain. And then that one a valley, which is right here. Mountain. And then valley. Like that. And then fold this bit behind. There we go. And then do the same on this side. This is where I made the mistake and pre creasing Oh, yeah, that's what we do. So 
I did, I did it wrong, you know. Sink this button. Make this mountain fold, which has where is it? This one right here. And you're going to fold it over this valley fold. I'll do it on that side again because this is where I did it on. Fold it over. Then we can make the mountain fold and mountain fold and valley and valley. Like that. That's locked in place. And then the same on the left side again. Now, now that I know how to do it, I remember. If we make that the valley fold, this one right here, and then bring the, this layer over. So basically, pull it over. And then make the valley fold. This one first. No effect. Oh, 
how did that come undone? Yep, so that's just like that. So make mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, valley, valley. Then this mountain fold gets tucked underneath this one. Then make that valley fold as well. it's locked in place <coughs> and then do the same on this side just so we don't forget so that mountain fold gets tucked underneath that one like that. Then make the mountain fold. I'm just going to squash this together to lay it flat, or so it sticks together. Like that. And then do the same on this side. And that's going to be slightly more difficult because I've done a mistake.
go. Oh, is that different? No, that's right. So I'm gonna peg it. No, I'll show the peg it here. No. Yeah, I'll peg it here just now. Just so I've got the paper in the right place. Because it has to be squashed together now to be able to do these ones. Right, this is. Where's this? Get rid of that. Okay, let's get rid of all these. Keep that there. in place. Now we're hopefully going to get this middle bit collapsed. So we're going to need to puff out this part and then sink it in. So we'll bring out this mountain fold which is this one right here. We've already made this mountain fold. Now we're going to make this valley fold to sink it in. So I'll just push it in. And then make these ones at the top as well. same on this side. Now you see how these colours all line up. Now we can make this one continuous valley fold. In fact, peg it right here so it stays in place first. Turn it over. And push down. In fact, I've pinned it just yet. Can I? Not, not yet, I've pinned it just yet. get this collapsed and then the same on the other side that really only leaves the centre part left but you need to push it all together for it to fully collapse so how do we do that? Yep. In fact I'll keep that there I'll just bring it up slightly So make this valley fold, which should already be nearly in place. No, wait. This this has came undone.
Again, make sure this sink is in place first. So weird. Right, so fold it over and you'll see you've got mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold. We, ne we need to make this first and then we'll make these creases. So how to do it is, have, have your thumb here and then some fingers here and you're going to squash it together and make this valley fold as well. Make sure you've got the strong mountain fold here. Now I can make this valley fold. And the battery's going to die in the camera, that's just great. So again, I'm, I'm going to peg it inside. This is this flap that we just squashed together. I'm going to peg it on the inside of it hold it in place and then I'm going to do the exact same here so we don't forget Make sure your clothes sink is in place, then make the mountain fold. And then make sure these valley folds are in place as well. Peg it on the inside. Then I'm going to change the battery. Right, battery has changed. So let's continue. We're almost there. So let's focus on this part now. Now we've got everything in place that we can finally, hopefully, collapse these. This is where it gets quite tight. So let me try there we go. We've got the valley fold, the mountain fold, the valley fold. This all needs to come together on top of each other. And that's these parts right here. The valley, the mountain, and the valley. And the valley. And that's, yeah, that's This is where it starts to become 3D the model, so I won't really lie flat. quickly just to hold just so I can get it to hold in place. You've got you've got the valley fold here and then the valley fold here and then the mountain and the 
mountain. You're going to make that's a mountain as well. And then make these valley folds sort of turn it like that. So this lies parallel with each other. I don't know if we missed a pull then, I'm not sure if we missed one. And then fold that down like that. So I'm going to peg it right here to hold this in place. And then I'll peg it here as well. That's in place. Now we need to sink this in to fully collapse it. So we need to make this valley fold, which all the work we did earlier on, all the colours are now lined up, which means they're ready to go. So this is one big valley fold, then the mountain. Take this away to show you. Yep, so we need to try and make this one first. So try your best, fold it up in half. And then I'm going to peg it on the inside if I can. So I'll peg it right here. I don't know if this is going to help, but it should. Now this is in place. See, that's the wheel. Then that's the side of the vehicle. This is where it curves around. So bring this down, this part here, like that. Then this mountain fold is going to come up over it. I'm sure it does. So we're going to make this mountain fold. And then the same thing on this one continuous mountain fold up. This part's going to be shown, so I'll try and keep this bit neat if you can. Yeah, so remember this part, this part here, this stays at a right angle all the time. Bring this together. Just let me peg it first. Oh, 
like that. Just start the right. Yep, that's the mountain fold that the valley fold comes down. This is where you, you really need to take your time and make sure all these creases are in the right place. Make sure, try and get it to all lie flat as well. So hold this in place and then push down to make the valley fold and then the valley fold. And then of course that's valley fold as well. So just like that. So it should meet up this mountain fold with this one. Should meet up nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peg it right here. We're getting there, people. We are getting there. Do the same on this side. to bring these bits together and peg it. Now make sure this this valley folds over this mountain fold. Now we can tuck it underneath. And remember that this part here, this rectangle, is going to be seen. So make sure to try and keep it as neat as possible. Oh god, what's happened here? Too many pegs. I'm going to peg it right here, just to try and hold it in place better. Get rid of these ones just now. Now again, make this mountain fold and keep it at a right angle, this part. 
So it needs to be at a right angle. Make this valley fold. There, just like that. Now, there's no good way of trying to hold this in place. I'll just peg it here. So as you can see, this needs to be a right angle. This part's going to be seen, so is this. Now we'll make the rest of this bonnet. So So now, since you've got this mountain fold in place, we can now make this one. So we'll make this a valley fold. And it has to be this one as well. Because you see the colours line up. Then this mountain fold will go on top of this one. Yeah, that's right. So make sure you've, you've got it like this. Then make this one mountain fold continuous. And then as you see, this one valley fold. So this needs to turn round and then fold flat. Again, these parts stay right angles and they're 3D, so they're puffed out so you, it won't lie flat. So I'm going to peg it right here. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. So again, make sure you've got this, bound, this mountain fold in place. Puff out this long mountain fold, and then this valley fold is all the same colour. So push it down, then lay it flat. But something's wrong here. Yep. Again, try to make sure you've got all the colours, colours in the correct order. This. That's blue, blue, red, red. Now we can make this one strong mountain fold, mountain fold, bring it together, curve this bit down. 
so it lies flat on this valley fold. And I'll peg it there. Now we can fold these down, then we're going to make this mountain fold and flatten this bit up. This is the eyes we're making. I've missed colours on that side, so I'll do it in this one first. So we're making this one right here. So just like that, that is it. That's how you do it. You should have something like this. As you can see, it's colour changed as well. So let me unfold it for you and show you. You've got that. Bring it down. Make this long valley fold. Fold it over fold it up. I'm going to peg it right here and do the same on this side. There we go. That's the eyes done. I'm going to peg it right there. Now make, make the valley fold. I'll take that away just now. I'm going to peg it here now and then we're going to make this head part and that's it. So I just need to get these creases back into place first. And it's going to be quite tricky because it's not going to lie flat. So what you're going to want to do is make the mountain fold and then the valley fold, then the mountain. Then you're going to want to, this part here is going to need to become a right angle basically so you, you're going to need to swivel it around for these lines to actually collapse correctly again I don't know if this is how you do it right, this is what I did so it needs to tuck over Pegs are in my way. And then we can make this mountain fold just to help reinforce everything. Right, that's came undone. So I need to peg this again. 
quick, just leave it. So if you can, bring these together and then peg. I'm just going to be quite difficult. That'll hold it in place. bonnet or the hood. Just to help hold it in place. Now you can cover it. Now make the mountain folds. That's just came undone. I'll do the same here and then I can peg it. Bring this part up. This is where it gets quite messy. I can unpeg these now. I actually don't know if this is the right way to do this, but. but.
first of all make sure these parts are lined parallel to this part, this, res this rectangle. Now, I'm going to peg it there as well just to hold everything in place. Oops, bring it right up. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now this is the last bit we need to do, and then, and then it's fully collapsed. So again, I'm not sure if this is the right way, but I'm going to show you the way I did it. So make this mountain fold, then make all this a valley fold, because we're going to push this part in, bring this part up, and then we can finally bring the cover of the hood over the eyes which are here. This is at the top of the top of the face. I'll just make sure I've got around. Lined up first. Mountain fold. Yeah. Mountain fold is a spot on this one. Do this side first. So valley fold it all the way. It's going to get quite messy here, so don't worry. Valley fold it all the way. Then mountain fold up. And I'm going to peg it right at the top of this head, right at the top. I can let go there, and that's where we let go, and let go there. Done, done. Now, reinforce this mountain fold, make it strong. So, we need to force everything else underneath. So, just push everything underneath, and then pull over. Again, try your best to make sure this mountain fold and this mountain fold are parallel, so they need to be aligned basically like that. And then I'll do the same on this side as well. Just about, which is good enough. And then make the mountain fold just to help reinforce it all. And there we go, that's it fully collapsed. I'll just take a quick picture first. That is basically the base. Now we need to shape it, which we'll do in the last part. So if you've made it this far, honestly, great job. This is not an easy model to do. Right, I'll see you all in the last part. Right, this is the final part for the tow matter, and it's the shaping. So for this tutorial, I'm not going to use glue because I want to unfold this at the end and then frame it up because I think that will actually look really cool. But, right, so we'll start off with the eyes. I'll show you how to do these. So what you should have is this. Again, when it all comes together, that will be flat. It will be like that. So you're going to take this front part 
I'll just fold it over so you can see easily, like this. And then fold it diagonal. Like that. Onto this line. And then fold it across. So you get that. And then fold it over and then spread sink it. Or open squash it. And then you're going to colour change it by opening up the layer. So it's like that. So open it up and push out that mountain fold. Make the mountain fold. And then the mountain fold where that blue line is. And basically wrap it around itself. Like that. So you end up with try and put it back together. One side colour changed and then do the same on this side. So again, open up, make the mountain fold, then make the mountain fold where this blue line is, and fold that back down. And then fold it back together. And there you go. That should colour change the eye, and you should end up with that you finished. So it's the exact same. I'm not going to show you in this one but I'll just show you the difference. How do I do it again? Fold it down. Fold it up. And then squash fold. So there's a difference. The one on the right's colour changed, the one on the left is not. Right, I'll show you the lights. And these are very easy, it's just This is what you, this is the light here, this flap. So you're basically gonna open and spread it. But not fully, just enough to make it round. In fact, that will be easiest. In fact, glue here first, glue this part on it, and then do the spread. It makes it much easier. But it's basically like that. Just do it until you get a round shape. And then of course it's the same on the other side as well. Then make sure it's at the side. So it's the same there, or the same here actually. So the eyes, the lights, go over the back. So we'll do this back part first. In fact we'll do it in here first. So we'll make sure you've got all these layers in place. Make this mountain fold all through them. So it's like that. Which is right here. Exact same. And then we're going to want to so we're going to want to bring these two parts up together so they're lying flat. So make a mountain fold. 
going straight across. And then bring the layer over so it lies flat on top of it. And then the same on this side. So you basically get something like that. See how it lies flat together? Bring up how many layers. Even like that. So make sure you've got that basically that right re that rectangle so that square shape. Basically you want to try and bring each part together. So you're going to make the mountain fold here, which is the mountain fold right here. And then the mountain fold here, the same again. Yeah, so do that actually. Or maybe not. So you could do that. This mountain fold, then this valley fold. Bring it over like that, and then you get that right angle as well, which is actually perfect. And of course, this one goes on top. So you get that. And then it's the same on this side, basically. I'm trying to see how. Slide that in now. That would work. Well, I think that's what you actually do. Or is it? How did I do it? I can't remember how I did it. So you could do something like that. So do this bit first, this side. Glue it all together, make sure it's in place. Glue this one on top. And then take this end and tuck it into this flap. Or this wee gap here. And then obviously make sure it's neat. If it's sticking out like this, if it's not lying flat, just fold it behind to make it neat. Because that looks the exact same as what I've got, which I'm pretty sure is what I did. So once you do this, again glue everything in between all the gaps and the gaps on the other side as well. Make sure it's all glued here. Peg it all. So I'm going to try and put it back in place quickly. Again, you should have something like this at the end. And take your time, make sure it's all glued nice and neatly. And then for the toe part, it's just basically thin it down, <coughs> fold it in half, fold this part round, and this is your wee hook at the end. So you can shape it as however you want, but just try and make it like like a wee curved part, like what I did here. So that's sticking up, and then 
curve them down like that, just like what I did. So I hope that part works out for you. And then this bit is easy. So it's just, you're basically going to fold it down slightly. Just to give it that wee curve. And then of course it's the same on this side. Right, for most of this part, you just need to make sure you've got all the creases in place, which you should have by now. And make sure it's all glued nice and neatly, because this part here, this rectangle, is seen. Like that. This is the part that's seen. So you need to make sure it's all glued. Well, it's not glued there, but... It's all glued together and this part is perfectly clean and flat. So again, there's no easy way to explain how to shape this, you just... It does require a lot of glue. So basically, yeah. Oh, that already looks really good. Just need to glue all in here, so it's stuck. Glue all in here, so it's pressed down. Glue all in here, all in here, so it's all compact. And then the same with the inside if you can, if not it doesn't matter. And then the course the same on this side, the same under here. Then that's to be eyelid parts. Then this middle part just fold it halfway underneath. Like that. See that's that's halfway up. And just cover it around. And then glue all all these layers so the eyes stick together. So it's all pressed neatly. And then cover those rounds to get that. And then for this part, the, the bonnet. It should be four units in length in total. So again, take one end, doesn't matter which one does it. Or the left one over the right, yeah. So take the left one over the right by one unit. So you've got one, two, three, four in total. Glue it, glue it again, glue it the same as here. Glue it so you've got four. Four in total. But for mine, I took an extra one, or a bit more, so I could get a more round shape. Because the original is quite rectangle. It's just rectangle. I, I didn't want that. I wanted a more round shape, so I took an extra one. But again, it's entirely up to you. I would suggest taking your time and playing around with shape until you get what you want. Oh, my voice is gone. Alright, what next? And the... Right, we'll do the teeth. Because this is the most confusing part. Oh, the battery's going to die, no. Battery isn't much better, but it'll work. Right, for the teeth. Oh, it's going to die as well. I'll go quick then. So for the teeth, you're going to want to box plate this part. So basically, fold it down. Where is it? I think it's just one. I'm not sure. So do it to this one here. No wait. Yep, 
so box plate it just like normal. You're going to come over one, two, three, four units and then finish it off here. And then close it off. So the teeth is actually the most, I'm not sure entirely how to do it correct. So this bottom part is the tooth, you're going to want to make sure to glue this part first. You've got one unit over the other. Or even take some more, it's up to you. And you've got one unit over the other. here, you need to try and colour change it, it's not the easiest but, so you should have something like this, fold it up, and then re reverse fold it, Right, camera's changed, or well, the battery's changed. Right, for the teeth, you really want to just try and colour change this V flat, this one here. There's no easy way to do it, so I think I just, I can't, I can't remember how I actually did it. something like that. So it is colour changing the now and then really what you want to do is so that's the teeth right there. Make sure this is all glued together first and you've got the the four units or the, th or the three and here as well. sure it's three or two. Again it's entirely up to you how you want to shape it but once you have the tooth here you want to try and make it symmetrical so I'm not sure what did I do last time. Basically, even just trying to open it and squash it, I'm sure that's what I did. No, maybe I didn't. That's an end. I don't know if you can see that in there. Well, what did I do here if that's an end? I'm not sure, but again, play a bit with it. Then you could even... No, that's not going to work. Or you could even just do one tooth. Just do that and then you make a wee crimp in the middle so it, it looks like two. So you have something like that. But again it's up to you, it's, it's hard to explain, you just need to take your time when you shoot. So that is about it. Again, once you take your time and you glue everything precisely, everything neatly, it will all be completely sturdy. See, all these parts should be hidden. This is the part you see, 
and that needs to be cleaned. Then there's the lights. Basically just squash them. And then the eyes. And then the tooth. I'm not sure what I did actually, I can't remember what. Or the bumper. Didn't show up. I remember how to do it. So you've got this on this side. Yep, that should work. So the left part, or the right part of the crease pattern, you'll have this. So open it up. And then you've got to spread sink this m m the middle part. So just pull it. And then flatten it out. And then, as you see, you've, this unit comes down one extra. In fact, that probably won't work. Tire. Yeah, it should work. No, I just flatten it anyway so it looks neat. If any layers stick out. So pull it out so you've got one extra and then just fold it up and then back down. So basically fold it in half. And then pull it up, then over, does it go, how did I do that? See I'm not sure what I did to get this. So it definitely comes from the, the right side, like I said. So I'll try to think if that does... Yeah, that's right. Because you put this under the tooth. Here's the tooth. And this is the bumper, which you'll bring over. And then over. And then you can even hide that part if it's too much. So that is about right. So again, take your time when you do this, I honestly hope you've made it this far and you've, you've been able to shape it. That is a fantastic model to make. And if you manage to make this video, be sure to leave a like and leave a picture of your finished model in the comments so I can see what you've done. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I can move on to the next super complex.